Any of you are standing right now, I want you all to take a seat because I'm about to dive into the most universally loved and respected subject there is, politics. Now, politics is a very glamorous topic, as we all know, but I believe there is content here that is worth being discussed, as not only can it plague the roots of our youth, but it can also climb up the trunk of adulthood and affect us in the near future. The root of these problems? Unfortunately, Prime Minister, Conservative Boris Johnson. Now, don't get me wrong, Boris has had a few ups, some relatively high, but he has also had a plentiful amount of lows. Lows that two resigned ethics advisors cannot comprehend with words. And now, I want you to picture this. Do you really think we deserve a Prime Minister who is so egotistical that he's willing to make a mockery of our country's legacy, our history, and our community by lying to said community with criminal parties and photos, all which lead to investigations stacking and stacking and stacking? The guilty to non-guilty practically being split 41 to 59% as if trying to replicate a vote of no confidence. A Prime Minister who expects us to tolerate his EU euphoria that involves immigrants from overseas without IT degrees in countries like India who don't wish for a life of British values. Now, these circumstances, they may generate a lot of negativity, but something I believe we don't acknowledge is the fact that these things aren't permanent. We are the ones at the forefront who can make change happen, young or old. I mean, think about it. We come from all different walks of life. We live and die breathing the same air. But that air shouldn't constrict us because we can go higher than that. If you want an example, 50 years back, we didn't think we could breathe in space, but now we can, whilst leaving traces of man behind through things like flags or space stations. But that is just a pavement. It's a pavement of success, not a pavement of failure. Anyone from any gender, ethnicity or race can go up that path and top the corruption that plagues this parliament. The parliament who is meant to be looking after our youth and responsible for our growth and our maturity. And that, my fellow British folk, is something I believe we can all appreciate in the years going forward.